Yo, what's going on, everyone? I have a special video for you as we did a choose my starter last time. Sorry, that was a kind of cringy intro. Okay. <laughs> last time on Song Along, I can't believe I actually kept that for as long as I did. But last time on Song Along, it was a choose my starter episode where we got to hang out, have fun, and honestly, it was one of the most active videos I've had in a long time. So thank you! every single one of you for being amazing and doing all that for us uh but yeah so last episode was a choose my starter episode we had the choices of wismer hat the mess magus and last but not least roserade alana the roserade and yeah i have a nickname for all of them it's okay it's not like i'm attached to them already um but i gotta show you guys something <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see it but there was a tie. So, what I did was that Roserade hit it first, right? Roserade hit five first, and then Wismer hit five seconds. So, what we're going to do is we're going to flip a coin. I'm going to make sure that my music is on so you guys can hear it. Heads is Roserade. Tails is Wismer. Google, please flip a coin. It landed on heads. So, we got Roserade as our starter. Okay. I figured, you know, flipping a coin is probably going to be the best case scenario because I'm not... Ties are, like, weird. So, yeah. Roserade, let's go. So, that means that the rival is going to carry a... Whisper. <laughs> See, you guys get the Whisper after all. It's just the rivals carrying it. Okay. So, and the two mods you guys chose for me to keep on the team were Rhonda and Maze. Rhonda and Maze are the two Pokemon that you guys got to keep on the team. Um, also, I gotta be right back because I realized like, I'm using the wrong layout. Yay! Uh, Let's go fix that. <laughs> okay, we're back at the right layout. Sorry, um, I big oofed for a minute. So yeah, now you'll see everything be on the screen the way it's supposed to. I apologize. <gasps> Whoa, your Pokemon is amazing, but mine is way tougher. I got Beegers, okay? You know, it's, it's actually kind of... The irony is that Jonas actually voted for Beegers. So it's kind of amazing that Jonas actually is going to have Beegers the entire playthrough. <laughs> so, and Joy did too. So, like, Joy and Jonas are going to, you know, house this Beegers. That's amazing. And, you know, we take those. You know, we want to, if we want a house of Beegers, we want a house of Beegers. And, you know, we take that. I love Beegers as a Pokemon. And, you know, I got, you know, I did get my favorite of the two, which was Roserade. Roserade is my third favorite Pokemon. You know, and then we got Beegers throughout the entire place. Like, this is, this is the perfect start, okay? Like, you know, we just... Hat, we love you. You're a great meme. And we can't forget about you because you're that amazing. But... You're more of a Jonas meme than anything. Which would have been hilarious if Jonas got Hat. Because if we got Wismer, Jonas got Hat. So, like, there was no wrong combination, honestly. There, uh, In my opinion, there was absolutely no co wrong combination. So, let's go through the summary. So, we got Rhonda. Uh, same, uh, same nature, um, uh, with same ability, and then we got, you know, May, same nature, same ability, same IV, same everything, besides the EVs, the EVs do not count, those get wiped away, same moveset, and then we got, oh, that's right, you can't nickname it until after, I was like, oh my god, we didn't nickname it, ah, and it's like, no, John, see, I moved back a little bit. Uh, no, John, it's fine. It's Serious Nature, Arena Trap, Leaf Storm, Needle Arm, Spore, and Gunk Shot. I'm very happy to have Spore. Like, so much so that I'm putting it up top. Gunk Shot and Leaf Storm, I'm not as happy about. But you know what? You take what we can get. We got Roserade. It's gonna be stuck with these movesets forever, basically, so... We just got to make sure it's good. <laughs> and because if it's not, then... Uh... But uh, another Shadow Tag slash Arena Trap Pokemon. It's so weird because, like, 
in a cage lock, if you would have gotten that, you would be like, oh my god, it's amazing. Like, that way, you don't get that ever. And it's like, oh, well, but it's not a cage lock, so. Hi, Mom. We got a Rose Raid, guys. Look at that. We got Rhonda. We got Rose Raid. And we got, like, amazing Pokemon. Uh, oh, thank God. We have running shoes. I don't have to speed up as much. Yes. Okay. I'm very happy we don't get to speed up as much. Um, I believe it's this button. Yeah. I'm remembering my buttons. Let's go. But, yeah. So, I... I honestly don't know who I want to lead with very much to be. I'm going to be 100% blatant with you. I don't know what I want to put on my team. Like, as far as how I want to order it. Because the team ordering is so important. So, and we get to kind of see what's on these routes a little bit. Barry! Oh my gosh! I want it! I want Barry 2.0! We need Barrelina! Barrelina! Come on, Barrelina! We can get you. Okay. Of course not yet, but Barrelina! Would be a pretty Pokemon to have. Because, <laughs> you know, start of Gen 2, we got Barry. So the start of Gen 4 getting Barry would be amazing. That's Solar Beam, right? Yes, okay. I was like, I don't know which one that is, but... <laughs> I was like, that would be important, <laughs> knowing that information. Information is glorious, and if you don't know information, then oof. So, yeah, knowing that Rhonda is still a good Pokemon. We still haven't used a fighting type move on Rhonda yet, which is kind of the, the irony in that is just so real. But, yeah, so we got a couple of poke. We have three encounters for this episode. Oh, no, 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 no. I, uh... I do, no, no, don't, please, I don't want that, I don't want friendship Pokemon, like, I want to go an entire playthrough without friendship Pokemon, can we do that, I don't know, what the, oh, it's you, it's okay, you know, we are having fun, we're the best of friends, and it doesn't matter how crazy we are together, it's fine, huh, what was that, your friend seems to be really impatient, we won't go into that. Well, anyways. <laughs> uh, Barry is super impatient. Jonas is, like, pretty patient, honestly. Like, I've had way more impatient friends than Jonas ever. Like, if I were to rank Jonas on the patience scale, one being very impatient and, like, ten being very patient. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. I'd probably rank Jonas at, like, a seven or an eight. He's pretty pat- Shit. This game is backwards. Um, please tell me you're not going to revert your name to Machamp. Oh, no. Do I have to go fix things? <laughs> I don't want to go fix things. Game, please tell me you didn't change Rhonda's name to Machamp. I didn't know that was going to happen. I, I mean, I should have. Because I know you nicknamed it at the Professor. But your boy was like, well, it'll just pick the one that's not nicknamed. No, duh, you're not supposed to have a second Pokemon at this point. So, obviously, it's got to pick the first one in your party. <sighs> I mean, you know, we learn something new every day, and that's just one of them. You know, that's what we'll say. I'm just really hoping it didn't nickname it to Machamp. Okay, no, I kept that as Rhonda. Thank God. <laughs> thank, thank everybody that <laughs> kept her name to Rhonda. Um, oh, wait, did Rhonda become a male? Hold on, did I not... Did I not gender them correctly? No, they're both female. Okay, we're good. We're solid. I was like, did we not gender them correctly? I guess... Maybe gender... I don't know how gender is determined. Like, could the IVs determine gender? Because I don't remember changing their genders at all. Also, sorry, I'm skipping all the tutorial text, y'all. Like, y'all know it's me. I know the tutorial. I'm skipping this. I can speed up the tutorial text. I'm not going to try and use speed up too much in this generation, even though this generation is... Notorious for being slow, but yeah, I'm gonna try my hardest not to speed up too much. Um, because you know, hitting the speed up button is no fun. We found oh my god, amazing item! Amazing item immediately. That's hype. That is what we call hype, dude. Getting the wise glasses, I mean, I might as well put that on, put them wise glasses on Rhonda. She's got some experience. 
<laughs> like, honestly, though, like, this why I mean, and plus, that would help Bronda's two stop, like, two stop moves. It would give him 10% more power, which wouldn't be bad. I'm actually doing it. Literally, first item we get. And I'm already giving it to a Pokemon. Let's go. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Like, okay, but I had no topic for today's episode, as you can clearly tell by my shoutcast egg. Um, <laughs> sorry, this commentary is so lackluster, but uh, yesterday I did a lot of schoolwork, and so my body is, like, just mentally trained. Um, and you know that happens from time to time. You know, your body can be drained and not want to do things and have things that have to be done, and then you're like, oh, well, okay, well, so much for my day. Um, I got a perfect topic for uh, the next episode um, because we're already that topic's gonna take me like 20 minutes to do because there's so much gawking I get to do in the next episode. Uh, <laughs> Joy already knows, and Charles already knows what the next episode's gonna be about because, oh my god, like, yeah, because, like, it's hard because you know, my life I live a kind of boring life at the moment, so like, trying to make entertaining content out of the boringness of my life is not easy because you know i just i'm a college kid who goes to school online because everything's online and not in person yet next quarter will be stuff in person which will be good and bad um and then i work at a retail store while I'm getting my degree. So, like, Life Story of John is not, like, not entertaining at all. And the thing with solo commentaries, and I've talked about this probably... <gasps> I've talked about this probably a lot of times before. Sorry, I'm too excited. This thing single-handedly got me monetization, guys. You gotta praise the Hoot Hoot. Instead of praising the sun, we praise the Hoot Hoot. That's, what it, that's how it works over here. Um, <laughs> but... Actually, that hoo-hoo video did officially hit 50k views. Like, oh, I don't know how. I really don't. I really don't know how, but it did. And, you know, we're going to go with it. I did not randomize via similar strength. So, the fact that we haven't encountered something big on this route means that Route 201 is doo-doo butter. But, yeah. So, anyways. I had to finish the anyways. I, I did. I, I had my I had my train of thought there. I just had to finish the anyways. But, yeah. I always keep the randomization settings the same, although I was going to talk about potentially going to black and white too, uh, and I wanted to start talking about that now because I set a ridiculous goal to get there, honestly. I was like, we have to get 5k subscribers. <laughs> like, no, John, you're not going to hit that. Like, that's not happening. So I'm going to kind of fix the goal up a little bit. So I think a reasonable goal to do black and white too. Mind you, this is like, I'd say four months away. So I'm thinking four months away. Um, because I think Diamond will take me a month and a half to two months. Because if it's two months, that'd be 25 episodes. I can see that. I can see just blasting through Diamond in about 25 to 30 episodes. So yeah, I'm thinking like four to six months away here. So my thought process... Is that if we can get to 2K by episode 120? Well, I shouldn't say I shouldn't put an episode number on it because I don't know when we're gonna if things are gonna go faster or slower. But by the end of Pokemon Black, if we can get to 2K or have 40 members on the channel, then we'll do Pokemon Black and White too. And by 40 members, the, those 40 members have to be like. On the like, we have to be sitting comfortably at forty, which means we have to like be there. So that's that's the two goals. You have a you have a. I I am a fan of the this or that goal. I mean, this and that would be amazing, but I don't like doing and goals. I like doing or goals because or goals <coughs> are fun, and they allow for multiple different ways of achieving that goal, and they're both relatively the same because you know, forty members. We're already at seven. So, being at 40 members, that's only 30 members or a thousand new subscribers. So, like, it's almost like pay to win. I don't, that doesn't, <laughs> that's not what I was like going for at all, but it kind of makes it sound like that. 
Um, but my member tiers are only 199, unlike most member tiers. So, like, because I'm a fan of, like, I'd rather have more people getting perks and paying less money for perks. Like, a lot of Poketubers have, like, this whole guaranteed nickname system. So if you get, like, a Pokemon, you get a guaranteed nickname at $50. And I'm like, boy, no. Because that's $10 for me. Um, although... And by guaranteed, but they have like a pick a pick a line yada yada yada, and I do like pick a line that you'd prefer, but I want to make sure I guarantee you a nickname for some time in the series. So like Seth, Seth will always I'm gonna like have a nickname for Seth somewhere in Hoglog. Um, although I want to have more nicknames for Seth, so I realize like I'm not giving Seth as many nicknames as I should be, um, because you know I'm like. I have a tendency to be like, oh, what's your what's your Pokemon that you like? Okay, that's what you're going to be named after. I like, I make associations. And making associations are not usually the best form of uh, living up to the expectations of, uh, any, like, any expectations. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna disassociate from all that stuff. But, yeah, so, I, and I, I love just being able to make you guys happy. I guess that's what I, that's my... When I do content, that's what I want. I want to make you guys happy and feel good and come out the video being like, oh, that was a good video. It was, it could have been energetic at times, but it was still a good video nonetheless. And like, I enjoyed what I was watching and I am happier as a result because the energy put into the video made me happier. That's like kind of what I go for. And I know that's kind of ridiculous, but it's how I roll and that's just not going to stop. So... Okay, what are we going to get? I don't even know what to lead... Oh, wait, no. I don't even know what to lead off with. I have a sport Pokemon. I don't know what to lead off with. John, you're, do you're dumb sometimes. You know, I get it. You had way more sleep than you usually do. But you don't need to be big dumb. <laughs> because sleep should make you better, not more of a big dumb. Okay, so our encounter for Route 201 is... It's curious! Let's go! <laughs> I'm so excited! It's curious! <laughs> Yo! What's going on, guys? It's curious, Cacnea here! And I do shorts, and I make the shorts the best that I can because I'm that amazing of a person. Let's go! <laughs> I'm so happy! Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to blow you guys' eardrums. I think I did. Um, I tried to move back, but I still was so loud. What? Yo! Yes! Yo! And it's a female! So no, yes! Okay. Come on. Curious? Curious. Curious, I love you. Okay. I got it. I got... Oh, you have rock throw already? Wow, curious. Okay. I, well, I watched a short... That I already had watched because YouTube recommended it to me, but I had already watched it because you're like that, that amazing, okay? Needle arm should not kill, okay? It's resisted, and Rose Raid's not a physical attacker. Dude, Curious Art. Oh my god. Curious is a better Rose Raid right now, actually. <laughs> like, Rose Raid's a tank, but Curious actually. Has moves and like you got the tanky grass type and you got the attacking grass type on the same team. Bro, dude, cu dude, Curious's move set though. Oh my god, I love Curious already. Oh, I love Curious way too much already. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'm definitely not in love with Curious Cacti. It's fine. It's okay. You know. Come on, Curious. I love you, Curious. We got a curious character. We got a curious. Let's go. What a first encounter. Like, I I love this. That, that's amazing. And you can't name it anything but curious. We really can't. We really can't name it anything but curious. Let's go. Dude, what an amazing day. Dude, this is going to be tomorrow's episode. I'm going to be off, so I'm going to be able to see you guys' reactions to this. Curios. Yo. 
Yo. <laughs> I probably should have checked to make sure I was spelling it right, but uh, fine. It's fine. It's it's chill. Um, okay, what does Curious have, actually? I, I'm very... Game. <laughs> Curious, you have... Oh my god, Tinted Lens Cacnea! Oh my gosh, what an ability! And what's, what's the last move that you were... Oh yeah, Absorb, okay. I'm totally fine with you hiding Absorb. Because Absorb is definitely the worst one of the freaking moveset, but dang, Curious! Like, that's so amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I, I can't even contain the happy. I really can't. It's a Cacnea! It's lovely. Uh, I love it. I love her. It's another female. Oh, dude, our entire team is female again. I'm okay with this, though. <laughs> our, we're back to having our entire team being female. And you know what? We love that female power. But, um, yeah, I just thought about that. I was like, uh, what is our Pokemon? Like, are they actually, like... Female, male, I mean, that doesn't matter, but it's just a curious thing. Uh, <laughs> every time I see the word curious, I'm just be like, Cagnu. Uh, I think this is a hidden item, if I'm not mistaken. It is not. It looks like it would be a hidden item, but it makes sense um, where it's placed and everything. Okay. Level 2 Tauros. It's a male. I don't think there would any ever be a female Tauros. So, you know, I don't know why I was like, it's a male. Is, does the female Tauros exist? I, I swear Tauros is 100% male. And the cow, male tank is the, the cow. God dang it, John. Male tank is 100% female. I think that's literally what the correlation is supposed to be. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong, because I feel like I'm totally not wrong, but it's Pokemon. So I could totally, I could totally be wrong. Ah. <laughs> that was a weird mix between the ah, and ah at the same time. Like, that was totally unintentional, but we'll take it. Um, I think that episode went out. Yeah, it was episode two of Clock, where Jonas kind of unironically did that. And it was like, yep, that's that's exactly. Like, it made me laugh because I was like, that's that's amazing. But yeah, um, so I think somebody got triggered by it, if I was not mistaking, but, or if I am not mistaking, I don't know if this will kill. D does Cacnea take hits better than Tauros? Find out now. Okay, good. Tauros, Tauros is good. Tauros is not making me mad. Although, like I said, Roserade is not that big of a Pokemon, but yeah, anyway, I'm not that good of a physical attacker, which is why I'm going to keep the alarm for as long as I can. Um... <laughs> Which is forever because it won't learn a single other another a single other move. Oh come on, tickle really? Tickle is your best move you can use against me. I don't like that. That's not good <laughs> because that means it's either got trash moves that's all around, or, and I'm hoping the or is not the case. It's all I got status moves. <laughs> Which I guess was implied by the fact that I said what I said, but whatever. Or I might think it has to tickle into a head charge. Jesus, Tauros, you're not that big of a... You're not that good of a Pokemon. Like, if this was Boof, it would make me feel a lot better. Oh my god, Tauros. Oh, present. You're making me upset, Tauros. I don't like you right now. Toros, you're making me mad. Do you want do you want a disappointing talk, Toros? Get in the ball and you won't get a disappointing talk. Yeah, I don't want a disappointing talk. Oh, Toros. It's okay. If you want the disappointing talk, then you know. 
I can be very disappointed in the fact that you could not take a hit better than Cacnea. And yeah, you just were really trash. And um, yeah, that's what you get. Um, uh, watch it have a trash. Watch it. Wa I could see it be trash. I'm going to name you Bill. Bill the Bull. Let's go. I feel like that will be like... Uh, like, that is going to be a... Not a video series. I say that like um, it's a YouTube. I feel like that could be like totally a YouTube. Or not a YouTube. Uh, car uh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. A cartoon one day. Bill the Bull coming to it. Oh my God. It's the oh, Curious is sassy. Them sassy Curious. Sassy Curious cacti. Um, loves bitter foods. Okay. Okay, Bill. We got my back, Bill. I'm too in love with Curious. It's okay. You guys are gonna kill. Luckily, you guys can't kill Curious for a long time. Um, so we got Bill with serious nature, keen eye, can't lower accuracy. That's not bad. Fear swipes, tickle, present, and smell like salt. Okay, so it was the second one where it was usually get to think that it could kill me with something else. Okay, got it. But still, keen eye not being able to lower accuracy is not bad. I will take that as a win in my book. So yeah, I definitely call that a win. Because, yeah, not being able to lower the accuracy does feel good. It makes me happy because, you know, accuracy lowering is very scary. Sorry for the, the massive speed up here. Um, but I needed to get back to the area that I was at. So, last encounter of today's episode before we trade up to about level... Seven on each one, I think, is what I wanted to do. Seven or eight or whatever it was. Um, eight sounds good. But yeah, we have a full team of six already. Jeez. We're already going to start accruing box members if everything goes right. I'm okay with that. That would be a big W. Okay. What are we going to get on Route 202? We got a... Pupitar. Huh. I don't even know if I want this, to be honest. I think this is one that I would let Roserade kill, potentially. I'm going to go ahead and Spore and Gunk Shot. And if it doesn't live a Gunk Shot, then oof. Because Gunk Shot's resistant, so it should live. Like, if it doesn't, I'd be very surprised. But Pupitar is not that good of a Pokemon. Oh, wow. I live that comfortably. Okay. Would it live a Needle Arm then? Well, no. Gunk Shot's resistant. So, Gunk Shot is the normal power of what Needle Arm would be. So, we can go into Maze, I guess. We can go into Maze. Maze is going to tank some stuff. It's not a Dark type yet, so... But yeah, Maze... I mean, level 4 is not bad. I will take the fact that it's level 4. Because the higher level is going to certainly help. And then it's, it resists this, right? I might have oofed. There's a high chance I just oofed. Oh, no, we're fine. It's resistant. Just don't burn. And then we go into Rhonda because... or Well, actually, Roserade's probably better still. Because now we can put it to sleep, kind of deal with it, and then end the episode. Ow. Okay, Pupitar. Okay, fine. Kill yourself and not be on the team. I guess. I was excited for you to be here, but apparently you don't want to be here. But anyway, that's the way to end the episode. Anyway, love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. Next episode, we actually going to have a topic, so Friday. Um... And we will see you guys next time. Bye.